According to the Uganda AIDS Commission, Uganda has an estimated 1.4 million people living with HIV AIDS. In 2022, there were 17,000 AIDS-related deaths. As part of efforts to curb infection rates and related deaths, Uganda is preparing to implement the use of injectable pre-exposure prophylaxis, or PrEP, which is medicine taken to prevent getting infected with HIV. Getting uh, 10,000 in the first year, increasing by 10,000, 10,000 in the first year. Three, uh, in the, in the three. So we expect 30,000 by the end of three years to be benefiting from this uh, every two months uh, injectable pre exposure process. So those are the doses we have ordered. But if the need is very high, and the people find it so convenient. I promise you, we shall make it available. This initiative targets sexually active individuals who consider themselves at high risk, such as those with multiple sexual partners. The affected people are women. A woman who is carrying a pill, a box of pills that experiences a prophylaxis, is prone to violence from her partner. She is prone to being a chosen of promiscuity. So a pill is not convenient for most people, most especially young men. An injectable, you walk in into the pharmacy, or you walk into the hospital, you get one injection, once in two, in two months, that's quite discreet. Dr. Daniel Biamukama has given assurances that the injectable PrEP is safe and will be provided free of charge. Research has been done and has been cleared by the World Health Organization. We are doing trials in the country, it is safe, and effective. While there has been a reduction in the number of new infections from 86,000 in 2010 to 52,000 in 2022, experts have expressed concern that the numbers remain relatively high. Adolescent girls still experience a very high infection rate, which is actually four times, and I repeat, four times higher compared to their male counterparts. Meanwhile, Uganda's response to the HIV epidemic is still largely dependent on external donors, with domestic funding contributing less than 40% amid some fears of donors cutting funding. The president has clarified whether the donors stay or go, the Arabs will be, nobody will buy Arabs. No, but at Kunda, NTV, tonight.